welcome to another episode of Ugo Smokes. I'm your host, Ugo, and today I'm going to be smoking and reviewing the Kedorsay in a 6x52 Toro format. And this here is a Cuban Puro, which means all leaves are comprised of Cuban tobacco. I've uh, been holding on to this cigar for a while. And I finally got the chance to smoke it, which I'm pretty excited about because it'll be the first Cuban cigar review on my channel. I've actually smoked uh, plenty of Cubans in the past. I just haven't uh, put out a video for them and I thought I you know, need to put some Cubans out there. So let's go ahead and cut it up and test the draw on it. Hopefully it's not constricted or plugged like some Cubans are. Moderate. It's a little bit a little bit tight to be honest with you. So I'm gonna cut some more. Alright, we'll see what happens. It's just um real dampy and very earthy on the cold draw. So let's go ahead and light it up and see what happens. On the palate, already a uh, very uh, citrus zest forward uh, flavor profile um, with what seems to be a little bit of floralness. It's like a mild uh, bodied cigar right now at startup. Not very uh, bold to be honest with you. The smoke is kind of creamy, but a little bit arid at the same time. <clears throat> nice abundant smoke. Uh, the draw is a little bit too tight for my taste, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's go ahead and see what's up with the retro hill. Ah, man, the retro hell is just so enjoyable. It's very mild, not at all stinging on the sinus. It's a very mild uh, experience so far. And picking up a little bit of like white pepper and some type of like grassiness uh, that's a little bit sweet. So, not a bad start to this Get Dorse. Um, let me go ahead and keep smoking this down past the first third. And I'll be back for my first update. Welcome back. I'm at the end of the first third of this Que Dorce. As you can see, the burn line is uh, pretty straight, except for that little peak there. The ash just fell a little bit ago, uh, but it was holding on pretty good. This cigar, I gotta be honest with you. Um, it's a very good um, working cigar. Uh, the draw turned out to be just enough, uh, almost like perfect, like the way I like it. As far as the uh, profile on this cigar, just getting like hay sweetness on the palate, um, accompanied with some, it's like an orange uh, type of zest on the palate as well. A little bit of floriness writing in the background. 
on the retro hail getting more of that hay uh, sweetness as well very pronounced on the retro hail actually and um, maybe like a little bit of white pepper still but overall it's a very mild body cigar great cigar for the morning um, so let me keep smoking this down past the second third and I'll be back for my next update Welcome back. I'm at the end of the second third of this Ked Dorce. As you can see, construction continues to be very good. Um, just flaky at white ash. The burn line is catching up. Still producing a moderate smoke production. Getting nice, creamy, abundant smoke now. Uh, as far as the flavor profile on this cigar now, uh, it transitioned from that hay uh, sweetness um, with the citrus to a very earthy uh, tone in the middle of the second third. Accompanied with some a spice, uh, like a nutmeg anise spice on the palate. It's not a long finish, short finish in my opinion. On the retrohale, getting a nice caramel uh, note now, uh, along with some florality and a little bit of uh, pepper zest. Uh, on the retro hail sting continues to be very very mild very timid like I brought a one or two out of ten so I would say overall very well balanced cigar in my opinion um, there's actually a little bit of minerality coming through the retro hail uh, on like every third puff uh, it's not consistent which is a uh, pretty pretty weird um, but yeah so let me go ahead and smoke this down as far as I can keep on enjoying this nice Cuban and I'll be back for my final update and closing thoughts on this Que Dorce welcome back I'm at the end of this Que Dorce number 52 as you can see construction just continues to be immaculate on this thing look at the burn line cut up nicely it's a great constructed cigar Still producing tons of smoke on this bad boy um, there's been a complete change of profile here in the last third actually started like at the end of the second third to be honest with you just getting an immense amount of florality on the palate along with some uh, nutmeg anise spice which is pretty delectable like I mentioned before for me floral notes I enjoy them um, it's like um, it's a good substitute for like the sweetness on a cigar on the retro hail experiencing a primary note of minerality along with some salt and some muskiness so it's a completely different cigar here at the end the retro hell sting increased a little bit as well it's now like about a four or five out of ten so medium sting on the sinus nothing you can handle still a great cigar for the morning in my opinion um if you're like into like the um more milder blends you can enjoy the cigar at any time of the day to be honest with you <clears throat> um, so the cigar here has been burning for about an hour and 35 minutes um, price point on this cigar you know I bought this cigar before there was a price hike on these things and I bought them from an actual uh, Habanos retailer uh, for about $33 so at that price point it's very approachable I, I would say this is a box worthy cigar myself but um, yeah so that's all I have on, on this Que Dorce. If you've tried this cigar before, let me know your thoughts on it. Um, as always, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.